So the exhibition, the title is Quiet Fulfillment. That was inspired by a, a logistics company actually in Massachusetts that is called Quiet Logistics. And I just thought, oh, that's a funny name because like this quiet kind of applies that everything happens in the background, very silent, kind of hidden. It's of course also inspired by fulfillment centers, kind of those big centers where you would distribute goods that have been ordered. They are all inspired in a, in a way by automation, um, human robot interaction. So we are here in the Goethe Institute um, where we just finished installing my show Quiet Fulfillment which is part of the Studio 170 residency. So this piece here, um, this conveyor belt was a piece that I made specifically for this architecture because the Goethe Institute also has a very intriguing architecture with a highly ornamental um, back bay mansion. So this is one work and there are two more pieces in the main Grand Hall, um, which are in total like eight video projections. The title for this piece is TEU, it means, stands for 20 Equivalent Unit, which is the standardized shipping container shipping format. This piece, I filmed it on the shore of the Elbe River, which is the access to the largest inland container port in Hamburg. The camera zooms into the load of the containers and the, container, the stacks of containers grow and then at some point the camera zooms out again and the image falls apart into its smallest um, digital format, uh, the pixel. So these drawings here, which are projected onto freely suspended screens in the architecture, but also onto the ceiling. Those are based on videos, on online footage showing robots from a robot contest that Amazon started for teams to develop warehouse robots that would pick and stow items. All of these robots have a suction head, so I motion tracked the suction head and had the suction head like make this drawing. So these um, drawings essentially trace the movement of the robots, but they're also inspired by time motion studies, which were done starting in the early 20th century by Frank and Lillian Gilbert. And what they did, they documented the movement of workers, um, often also factory workers, but also tasks like as simple as like laying a brick wall. And they also found a way to motion track those movement of the workers and they came off and up with like similar black and white drawings. I'm really looking forward to the, what people just say and feedback. I think I will be also a curious observer here in a way. <laughs>